What's up guys, this is Seth with the Fabricators Lounge and today we are building some toe points for some bumpers we're building. Now I use the Arcdroid CNC Plasma Cutter. It's a relatively new product. I don't know if you guys can see the screen here, but it's got a really cool feature called Simple Trace on it. And I'm gonna show you guys how we get stuff done and how to use this thing. Okay, so here's our screen. We've got our arc droid right there, our cutting app, our cutting map right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click circle because that's what I wanna do first. You always wanna do your circles first. So this thing has a button right here on the stylus and this button here on the home or on the little computer it comes with does the same function. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna find the center of my first hole. So right there, I'm gonna go ahead and click. I wanna do a one inch hole, it's already set there, with an inside cut and a half inch lead. So the lead is where it pierces the material, and I like to do a half inch on this thicker plate because by the time it pierces and gets to where it's starting the circle, it's already got a good cut going. So we've got our circle there, and I'm gonna come over here, probably can't see the screen now, but right there that's going to be my next circle right hand cut half inch lead one inch hole and then i'm going to go right here to the freehand draw and i'm going to do a line from right here to right there so basically what's that what that's doing is it's going to cut both of these holes and then it's going to come through and do this and then once it makes its full loop we'll have two complete parts here so then I'm gonna to go to rectangle. Actually, I'm gonna tune on that. I want an open cut, no lead, center cut. So I'm gonna to go to rectangle. I'm gonna find the center of my rectangle, which is right there, okay? So now I'm gonna do 12 inches wide because I want each one of these to be six inches and two inches tall. I'm gonna do an inside cut with a half, or an outside cut, sorry, with a half inch lead. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my corner radius at one inch. That'll make it a nice perfect oval. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, origin and it'll go ahead and move, move this out of the way. You click origin and it's moving it around to where your center point is. So I want it to start right on the center of where I clicked, which is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. I'm gonna zoom in real quick. Yep, looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and exit. I'm gonna to go to tune. I wanna do my cut speed at 25. 3 eighths of an inch of clearance, quarter inch pierce height, 3 sixteenths cut height. This is a 65 amp plasma cutter on half inch plate. So I wanna go pretty slow to make sure we get a good cut. So I'm gonna take the stylus out, click, clip the plasma cutter in, raise it up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So right here, it's got the lightning bolt. That's your plasma cutter on off. I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna go ahead and click run. Good. As you can see, we've got two perfectly good picking eyes right there. I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like as it's going. So this is what the screen looks like. So there you have it. 
That's the gist of the Arctroid CNC. You can upload files onto this from CAD programs, but if you're real accurate, you can make some pretty good stuff with Simple Trace. Mine's super dirty because I use it all the time, but it's basically just this robotic arm. Works real great.